Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about doing a root pass on stainless steel and how you need to set it up to purge it so you don't sugar your root pass. I know this is a piece of carbon pipe, but if you wanted to practice with stainless steel filler wire and not have to have the expense of having stainless steel pipe, you can do it like this. Uh, obviously, it's not going to weld exactly the same as if you had a piece of stainless pipe, but using your stainless filler, putting your purge on, and just using a piece of carbon pipe can give you great practice for it without the huge expense if you're doing it at home without having that huge expense of having stainless steel pipe. So I'm going to show you how to set up a purge. So the first thing that you need to know about setting up a purge for welding stainless steel is first of all, argon is heavier than oxygen. So argon is going to sink to the bottom of what you're welding on or what you're filling up with your gas, excuse me. So what we're gonna do here on the back side of our coupon, I've cut a slice in the tape. I've taped off this entire back side of this pipe. We're going to take our argon hose, you'll have to have two, two of these. Two argon hoses are gonna have to be run into your workpiece. And we're going to take it and we're gonna tape all the way around this piece of hose, which I've only got one on there now. But we're going to poke that inside of our piece of pipe and we're going to tape that up really, really good. So what this is gonna do is if you feed your argon from the bottom of your coupon, it's going to fill up this piece of pipe and then on the opposing side of this pipe, you're gonna put a little hole for a little breather to where it's gonna be at the top of the pipe on the opposing end. Now that is going to let all the oxygen get pushed out. You're going to completely fill this coupon with argon and it's going to give you a purge. So when you weld on the inside, it's not going to sugar when you're running stainless steel. So you get this hooked up on the bottom, on the back side of your coupon, get it taped real good to where it's going to be supplying your argon, and then we'll move on to the front side. Okay, so here's the front side of that piece of pipe that we were looking at. And what we're gonna do over here is at the very, very tip top, you're gonna take a piece of TIG wire, or welding rod or something, and just give yourself a little hole. That's all you need right there on top. Now granted, if you're moving a lot of gas, uh, your hole will have to be a little bit bigger to compensate for the pressure on the inside of the pipe because if you go to seal this root pass up, which I'll show you here in just a second, and you don't have a hole poked in here that's big enough to compensate for closing up your root, it's going to try to blow out your root pass right there where you're making your very last tie-in. I'll explain here in just a second. Let's move on to the bevel edges. Okay guys, so there's about a half a dozen different ways you can do this, um, but first of all you're going to want your bevel edges taped all the way around and like I said you can have that little bitty spot up on top uh, primarily to let your argon out or your oxygen out excuse me but you can wrap this all the way around and if you want to start on the bottom side and you want to come up your right hand side first all you're gonna do you've got your breather hole up here in the, in the top of your tape up here on this opposing side from where your argon's coming in on the bottom if you peel this tape back you can weld that bottom quarter right here and then if you want to go to the other side and weld the bottom out first get this covered back up your tape's not going to be super sticky after you get this good and hot but it'll still work and then you can weld that side and then as you move on obviously if this is filled in with a root pass not so critical to have it taped up you can move your tape back go ahead and weld this top quarter here same thing on the other side you just have to make sure that you do not get oxygen on the inside of your pipe when you're welding stainless steel it's the whole purpose in a purge is to keep your oxygen out so obviously this is a piece of carbon like I was saying earlier um, in my other video, but you want to keep all the oxygen out. You put your hole, your breather hole, to push all the oxygen out on the top side of your coupon that is opposed to the bottom side where your argon is going in. On the bottom side where your argon goes in, it's going to force all that oxygen up and out of the top side of your coupon over here. Remember guys, argon is heavier than oxygen. It's an asphyxiant. If you're in a low place um, and you're TIG welding all day, you can fill up that spot and you can get yourself killed if you inhale too much argon. It's heavier and denser than oxygen is. It sinks. Oxygen will float on top. So poke your hole up here, fill this sucker up with argon, and then when this is coming out full of argon, you know that you've got a good purge on this thing and you're good to go. So I hope that helps, guys. If you've got any questions on any of this, please drop it in the comments. Let me know, and I would be happy to help you in any way that I can. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.